Hello everybody, this is James Shore with another test-driven development video. Last time we got the application model uh, working in a really bare-bones form and uh, integrated into application frame again in a really bare-bones form. Now I'd like to just continue that work and make it a little more sophisticated. Uh, first, we don't need any of that. Um, second, I think what I'd like to do is go ahead and get these the rest of these defaults in place uh, even though they're not strictly necessary. Um, just so that I don't have to come back, just so it's it's complete. We have some implicit defaults here and I'd like those to be in here and I want to get the, the runtime behavior to be back to where it was before. So um, I'm just going to wrap that up. I think the reason I didn't do that before is because I was trying to in finish the integration and get everything working again. Now that it's working I want to clean it up a bit more. So we've got the appropriate number of years. Um, next, what do we have next? Starting principle. Seven thousand is what I've been using for that. Next, we've got. Oh, I guess I should get that to pass. And this is getting a little hard to read. Here's a a formatting idiom you probably haven't seen very often. I love it, but um, it's idiosyncratic, and usually when I use this, people tend to raise their eyebrows, but I like the way this mirrors the matching of braces. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else use this this convention, so if you hate it, that's okay. You're probably in good company, but guess what? You're not here, so I'm going to do it anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, anyway, let's keep on going. Next is uh, interest rate or growth rate, rate actually. And lastly, I'm just going to do these together, capital gains tax rate. Oh, right, I'm not using these yet. Okay. There we go, and now if I run this, I'm going to get some, I believe, some familiar numbers back out of it. Yeah, that's great. Now, I'm not 
going to test this one just yet because that again is just a placeholder right now and um, uh, unlike these other things it's it's sort of its own thing so I don't know uh, I just don't feel like testing it right now and I will be coming back to that so I'm not worried about losing track of it so now that we've got all of that um, I think I'd like to refactor this to be a field Maybe I'm blind, but I'm not seeing a way of turning that into a field. So let's. Maybe I can do it this way. Yeah, there we go. Convert local variable to field. And actually, let's inline this. Huh. Now, you know, to follow the swing conventions exactly, I would take the application model in the constructor, but nobody else is using the application frame right now. Uh, if I ever get to the point where I'm having multiple uses of the application frame, I might do that. But that's not uh, what I need to do right now. So there we go. Everything passes. Everything seems right. So next up is... Um, I guess what I need to do is... I've got this forecast table, which is taking the stock market table model. Now I need the, yeah, yeah, here we go. This gives us the ability to do this code right here without needing the forecast table object. So if I were to do a quick little spike, this should now make it possible the way the code was, more or less. Um, now it should be possible. I don't have to deal with forecast table. Now I just take the application model and we can say um, we could say set model or something like that. But actually, I think what we're going to want to do is say update or set starting balance and then we'll pass in the field dot get text essentially that's I think where we're going here um, why is this all red Now, the only problem with that, well, not the only problem with that, but we don't have application model doing that. So I think that's what's next, is to get application model to the point where we can tell it what a balance is, and it will, it will change the underlying model. Um, I'm, I'm just sort of thinking about this. How, how do I want this to work? So we need, we need to update the forecast table. This is the forecast table and the way to update the forecast table is to change the stock market table model. Now we have the stock market table model here. So again if I was just to be theoretical um, we could 
again, keep in mind that this is just spike code, um, we should be able to do something like, only in, inside of application model, we should be able to do the equivalent of All right, so this is why the application, I'm sorry for, I'm just sort of thinking this through. I'm not talking it through very well, but I'm thinking about it. We need to modify the stock market table model. In, when we change the balance, when, the, when, we, the, when we change the balance, the stock market table model needs to change. The application model is going to mediate that change, which means the application model needs to own the stock market table model, which means it's not appropriate to initialize, to create it here, and this is the wrong method. We need application model to return the table model, not the projection itself. Yes, I believe that's correct. Um, so let's try that. Let's go back here. We need to start with the default stock market, and this is all fine, but even more so, we need to return a stock market table model that uses that default stock market. And I'm not going to write a test around that because that is just simple code. Uh, instead what I'm going to do is just expect it to exist. So That should still pass its tests, and it should still work here, and it does. So, I mean, I'm. This isn't quite right. There's something wrong about it. Um, don't see the best way to do it, but it will come to me as <laughs> with time. So now that application model controls the stock market uh, table model, when we tell application model to set the starting balance, it's going to be able to do essentially it's going to be able to do this. to be able to modify itself. I'm going to simulate that now. Somehow. to see if I understand this correctly. So what that means is that when I leave this, oh, that, hmm, that didn't do what I thought it would, but that doesn't mean I'm wrong. It just means that uh, this method didn't do work the way I thought it should. Um, well, what I think I can do, I think I can have the application model change the stock market table model in a way that will work. Um, let me try one last thing and then we'll have to stop. Hmm. Again, I, I'm just not sure this code works if this is doing what I think it is. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.